Sorry about that. Okay, so here's the main, main unit. You can see there's ribbon cables for the screens, for the two OLED screens. Lenses and the adjuster. So now we'll undo this board. Which is the T3 Torx again. Unclip this last connector. Now that just folds down. <coughs> so now we can take the board off. It looks like there's another screw that holds the um, proximity sensor to this plastic housing, so I'll undo it as well. Just be very gentle with these connectors. So 
to this must be the antenna connector for the so that the um, touch controllers and the remote can connect so there you have it so main board We just carefully there's the slider for the lens um, lens width so that would measure what you've set the lens width to <clears throat> so that has to be when you reinstall it that has to be positioned in here so that when you move this the, the screens the position of the lenses or the width of the lenses IPD will be measured so that's about it that's as far as I'm going to pull it apart I'm going to cook this in the oven and see if I can reflow the solder on the board and hopefully that will fix my flexing disconnection issue put it back together and we'll see if it fixes it so hopefully this helps someone out there who needs to tear apart their oculus rift you can see here If you want, needed to remove these, it's just a case of some Phillips head screws. But once you get to this this far, it looks it's you can pretty much figure out the rest. Putting it back together, I guess just be very careful, make sure everything is in place, and just do the reverse of the um, tear apart. So thank you for watching these videos, hopefully it helps someone and hopefully this, when I put it back together everything works and I'll have fixed my disconnect issues. If not, well I had no warranty, well I do have warranty but I'm in Australia so I can't, Oculus won't allow me to or won't send one out to Australia since I bought this from Amazon so basically effectively I have no warranties and I've been through support and all I can do now is attempt to repair it myself unfortunately but at least there's a video here now that might help someone else thanks for watching if you enjoy these videos or found them helpful Please press the like button and please share.